The Sonoran Pronghorn, written and narrated by Ben Eisenberg. An endangered species, Antilocapra americana sonorasiensis, or better known as the Sonoran Pronghorn, is the fastest land mammal in North America. With speeds reaching up to 60 miles per hour, you may wonder why they are endangered if they can simply run away from their predators. The answer is location. The Sonoran pronghorn lives in one of the harshest places on the planet, the Sonoran Desert. Found only in southern Arizona and northern Mexico, their numbers during dry seasons have dropped extremely low. Like in 2002, when the wild North American population dropped to just 25 individual pronghorns. These animals need adequate food and water to survive. They eat herbs, cacti, and desert grasses. The Sonoran pronghorn reproduces during September and October during the mating season. Gestation is 250 days, and usually only one fawn is born. Besides being extremely quick, these pronghorn are shorter than other species, standing only three feet off the ground at their shoulders. They also have another interesting characteristic. When they get too hot, they can erect the hair in patches on their body to release heat and cool down. These animals do not necessarily help humans, and humans certainly do not help the Sonoran pronghorn. Human activities have taken away much of their environment. The pronghorn thrived because of their fearful instinct at one point, but that instinct keeps them from approaching the roads that crisscross their territory, essentially trapping them. U.S. Interstate 8 to the north and Mexican Highway 2 to the south are the boundaries that mark their habitat. Extremely skittish, the Sonoran pronghorn cannot just adapt to their habitat loss and live alongside humans. The rarely seen animals want nothing to do with us, but as our population grows, we continue to occupy more and more of their habitat. Currently, humans are trying to do right by these beautiful desert creatures. According to the National Park Service, in 2004, a captive breeding program was started that helped the population and has continued to do so. Approximately 160 Sonoran pronghorn exist in the wild in the United States, and about 240 on the Mexico side. Unfortunately, the population in Mexico has shrunk from 600 in the early 2000s, and it is unclear what authorities there are doing if anything, to stop further habitat loss. The captive breeding program is a form of genetic engineering because it is a birth helped along and engineered by biologists to have the best chance of survival. Some of the captive yearlings come from animals taken from Mexico so that more genetic diversity will be introduced to the United States population when that yearling is released. Though numbers have increased, you cannot breed out an instinctual fear of everything. I believe that unless more land is given to the Sonoran pronghorn, they will continue to be endangered, and one day soon, could even go extinct. Now, for the final question. Would I take the pronghorn to Mars? In a heartbeat. A massive red desert sounds like the perfect place for these speed demons. Throw in a little vegetation, and hopefully the whole planet would be covered in nothing but, you guessed it, Sonoran pronghorn. I hope you enjoyed hearing about these animals as much as I did. Thank you.